This is a problem proposed by Katherine Kosak. It's looking at the heating source for people in Connecticut and the percentage of each of those sources that are used. You might notice that this is indeed a probability uh, distribution. I mean, the sum of these is, in fact, equal to uh, 100%. This is categorical data. So building a bar chart or a pie chart would be reasonable things to do to represent the data. And it will be nice to have this data, um, get this data into R where we can work with it. So here I'm using an online compiler uh, from CodeGround. So first we want to build a, a vector, a categorical variable. Uh, we'll call it heat source for the heat sources. Each value will need to be separated by a comma. And for our convenience, we're splitting this line. Um, R, that doesn't bother R. The, this really is, is one line, but R will begin to read this, see that it's concatenating. It'll realize that there's a parenthesis here, and it'll realize it has not got to the end of the line. And so it'll finally end things when it gets to this point. The percentages can be uh, a numerical variables, but remember we're writing them as percents. Now we can easily combine these two vectors into a data frame using the data.frame command in, in R. So let's run that much of the script and just see what we've got. So there is that same data that we're uh, looking at you to can't seem to show them both to you at the same time so so there's the electricity fuel oil gas and other and the 15 percent 15.3 percent 46.3 percent 35.6 percent and 2.8 percent uh, respectively okay so that's all stored in that data frame so this is essentially a relative frequency table that the results of that data frame we could uh, produce just the bar plot of the percentages. Let's execute that and see what we've got. So there we are. We, we need to put some more into this particular plot. Uh, but there's the electricity, uh, about 15%. There's the fuel oil at 46%. There's the gas at uh, 35%. And there's the other at almost 3%. To improve the graph, we will include some options. Remember, all of the inputs to the bar plot command are separated by commas. To make it easy for us to read, I think I'll separate each one of these options on a separate line. So I'd like to have a, a title for this. So the command to do that is main is equal to, and then in quotation marks, what you want the title to be. Our title is going to be Connecticut uh, Heating Sources. I want to add some other titles here, so let's separate that with a comma and put a, a label on the y-axis. So y-lab equals what we want over here, that's going to be the percentage. Or maybe let's change it to be percentage of households. I'd like to have a name for each of the bars in the bar, in the bar chart, in the bar plot. Uh, and we've got those there in what we called heat source. So we're going to name something, uh, we're going to use the names.arg argument and then put Names.org is equal to a heat source. Heat source is already a vector that contains the, the characters that we want written underneath each, each, each one of the bars. Excuse me. Now, when we do that, R is smart enough to realize that it can't fit everything in. So it has skipped some places. We'd like to have all of those in, so maybe we'll write these uh, vertically. The command that makes that happen is an LAS equals 2 command, and that causes those uh, 
uh, titles down there to be written that way. I kind of like a little bit of color, so let's add a color to those bars. COL is the option for color. Color is equal to, I chose dark green in this particular case. So that's a pretty reasonable uh, bar chart. If I needed this bar chart for a report, I believe that you can just right click over here and, and copy uh, this, this object, this uh, picture, and paste it into your document. Now the original problem also asks us to uh, create a, a uh, pie chart. So let's do that. So here I'm adding a little bit of annotation to my script so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. First of all, we built these two vectors. We use those vectors to and put them in a data frame so that we could produce um, essentially the same plot that they, the same frequency histogram that they gave us. And then we use those two vectors to plot the percentage, the the heat source was really the names that we needed along here, and so on. So now we're going to build a pie chart. The structure is somewhat similar. Pie, and give pie what the slices of that pie need to be. The percentages are what we want those, those uh, to be, and so it divides it all up. But now we need to put a lot more information here because that we need to put a, a title on here and we need to name what these uh, sections are. We'll use a similar construction to up here. We're going to need to put in the options and we'll put each one of them on a separate line so it's easier for us to read. So we'll call that Connecticut Heat Sources. Let's run that. So Connecticut Heat Sources. Uh, notice that pi has an opening parenthesis and a closing parenthesis. Each one of the options inside of pi are separated by a comma. So I want to add some more things here. The command for naming the slices is the object that can, contains the values for uh, each of the slices is labels. We already have built a vector called heat source. So if we put labels heat source, then it goes in and picks those off and, and names the slices with each of those. In another video, we showed you how to use a paste command here to not only include these names, but also include the percentage associated with each one of those. To keep this visit video short, we'll stop there. But again, you can, can right click on these and and uh, and save the image as and or copy the image and paste it into another document. Okay, hope that helps.